Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. What's up guys, it's my face story here. Hopefully there is nothing in my teeth this time. I don't think there is. Anyways, today I'm here to talk to you guys about African black soap, everything African black soap. I've been seeing it all over the internet and not just that, I use it myself every day in my skincare routine. What is African black soap? How is it made? Where can you get it? How much does it cost? Everything. So African black soap can be anywhere from $5, to the brand Shea Moisture that I use, up until like $20 or $30. It could be more. You can get it at the farmer's market. You can make it yourself. I tried making it myself actually in another DIY video. I don't know if you guys saw that one or not, but I did try making it myself. Didn't really end up turning out as good as I would have liked. I still used it on my body, but honestly, like a couple weeks later, I did throw it away. So it didn't turn out as good as I thought it was going to, but that's okay. So African black soap, known as a miracle cure for acne, eczema, um, basically any skin thing you have going on, dry skin to oily of skin, it'll cure and balance out everything. And because of its color, for a long time, I just mistakenly thought that African black soap was made from activated charcoal. I know it's dumb for me to assume, but I just thought because it was like the color black that it was made from charcoal because that is in a lot of skincare ingredients and I never actually put the name together with the fact that it is made in Africa. Which yes, African black soap is made in the foothill of Africa, usually um, like West Ghana, areas like that. Um, and it's made by small little knit communities, which is super cool. And it's usually fair traded and the recipes are respected as secret because of that reason. Okay, so the soap itself, the ingredients are like centuries deep. We know for sure that they usually use cocoa pods, um, plantain peels, water, and shea butter. Uh, those are like very common ingredients that are used. Obviously you go from like place to place and the ingredients will vary. But those are definitely like common ones that are used. So the soap recipe itself is specific to each tribe or community based on like not only the ingredients they use, but the cooking methods that they use too. So most of the time it's like a rigorous two week process and the whole time it's the same women, it's always women working together to make the soap. So it's a two week process, they'll like lay out the leaves to dry, lay out all the ingredients to dry, and then they will burn the ingredients. And when they burn them, it creates a lye mixture. And lye is commonly found in like soaps and household cleaners and stuff like that. So that is like the clean cleansing agent. Then they'll stir it in and stir it in the shea, mel melted shea butter, <laughs> God, I can't talk, for um, a few days. And then I think they let it sit to cure for like two weeks even after that. So it is a super lengthy process and the whole time that they're making the soap, like they have traditions too that are super cool. Like they're not allowed to be on bad terms with anyone in their family. They're not allowed to use curse words and they have to make sure that they are friendly with everyone in the group. And if they also receive bad news while it's happening, they have to ditch that batch and start completely over, which I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I think that tidbit of information just makes it like that much better. You know what I mean? And it makes me think like, because there's no bad thoughts put into this, it's going to work better for me too. I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying. I guess that is like the spiritual beliefs part. And other tribes use different ingredients. Like I mentioned, like they'll use coconut oil or things like that. But the main thing that they use are like plantains and cocoa pods, mostly. And then maybe they'll use like leaves from their native area. So how does African black soap work? Well, it works by using all the different nutrients that are in the ingredients, put it in the first place. In addition, like I mentioned, when you burn the ingredients, it will also create a lime mixture, which will help you to cleanse your skin. It contains vitamin A, which will help increase collagen production. It contains vitamin E, which will help with skin elasticity, texture, stuff like that. It contains shea butter, which will help to soothe and protect the skin. And cocoa pod powder, which uh, acts as an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compound. So it has a bunch of really great ingredients in it for your skin. And it works really well because it'll cleanse your skin without over washing or stripping it of its natural oils. Um, when I started using it, I was using it twice a day. I did find it to be a little bit drying for me, so I went back to once a day, which is crazy, because I've been washing my face twice a day ever since I was like 
I don't know, 13 or however old you start using acne products, 12 probably. <laughs> It'll help to even out like discolorations, give your skin a nice even glow, and obviously help with any like marks, you know, acne, scars, hyperpigmentation, all that jazz. So even everything out. What's also great about African Black Soap is it's 100% natural, so it doesn't have any chemicals added, no fillers, no dyes, no fragrance, unless you make your own and want to add like an essential oil or something like that. But it doesn't have any of that stuff in it, so you're not going to be like setting off endocrine or hormone uh, disruptors, you're not going to be sensitive to the fragrance that are in it, and sometimes that can, you know, trigger eczema or trigger acne, both of those things can. So since it is completely natural, you are really playing it super safe with it. Another thing in West Africa, or I guess just in general where they make the soap, they will cleanse their newborn babies with it, which is kind of awesome. So I feel like if it is good enough for a newborn baby, it's also good enough for me, you know? I'm not any better than a newborn baby. I feel like my skin is way less, way less sensitive than newborn babies, probably, hopefully. My personal experience, I've been using African Black Soap now for a few months. I've seen huge, huge, huge improvements. Um, there's something in there. Recently, I have been like getting some breakouts, but I think it's because I changed something else in my skincare routine that I need to quit using. Um, I've been exfoliating too much, which I feel like is usually not a good idea for acne prone skin. Uh, but yeah, Apple Box has worked really well for me. Um, like I said, I've been able to wash my face just once a day. I've noticed that my face is like, my skin tone's more even, it feels more moisturized, and I like that it is all natural and that I'm not my skin feels calmer too, so like it's, I'm not irritating it with the chemicals and with the fragrances. I feel like that's the biggest thing is that a lot of soaps are scented and it's like I don't need it to be scented, I just need it to work good, you know? So yeah, that is it. That's all I have to say on African Black Soap. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe below and tell me your thoughts. Have you tried African Black Soap? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, yeah, let me know. I think this video also qualifies for a banished giveaway. So again, all you have to do is leave a comment below. All right guys, that's it. Talk to you later. Oh, also, look at how long my hair got. Isn't this crazy? I feel like it's gotten so long lately. All right, that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. Bye.